Oh, hey, folks. Uh, gonna be back out in the man cave today. Uh, just got through recording a little bit. Um, but uh, we're gonna start working on the door and some other places that uh, are needing to be finished. And then uh, I'll show you what I picked up for paint. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll bring you along for the ride. Okay, this is the uh, uh, primer I'll be using. It's from, as, as I always use, is Rust-Oleum. This is Primer Surfacer. It's supposed to be a higher build primer. We'll see how that works for some of these little scratches and pinholes and stuff that we have. Along with that, you have to buy their specialty reducer. And believe it or not, the reducer is just as expensive as the paint. Kind of crazy. But once we get all that done, then we move over here. And we've got the Regal Red, a gallon of Regal Red, acetone, catalyst. That one little bottle or can of, of catalyst is supposed to be good for a whole gallon. So, and then I've got Japan Dryer, which is supposed to help it dry faster on oil-based paint, which is what the Rust-Oleum is. And again, that's the Regal Red. Catalyst, Japan Dryer, and I'll be using acetone. So, once we get these uh, this body pretty straight, then we're going to start with that. And then we'll have to sand everything again, and, uh, and then we'll be ready for that. So, but anyway, I have all, everything I need here. I was actually able to even pick up some uh, 36 grit for my sanding board uh, to finish off these areas. There's one area I've got to do is this area right in here. I've got paper on here from when I was doing baseboards and stuff. But anyway, I've got this area here to, to work on. And then door. This area in here. It's got a butt dent in it right there and a little bit to work on right here. It's got a little bit of a, a hole there and this area back in here. I'm going to have to run the board across it and see where my low spots are. I don't think that anything up in here is bad. I think it's mostly down in here. Evidently where dad hit something with the uh, cab corner. And yeah, I've got to do a little work right in there. But anyway, where Dad hit the cab corner, it must have actually also dented back in here. So I've got a little bit of body filing to do. And then I do believe that there's a, a, a place or two in the wheel well over there on the driver's side that's also going to need a little help. I think this one's pretty straight. It feels like it is. And I don't feel any any rust or anything like that over here, like I do on the other side. So I'll get busy and and we'll see how far we get today. The other day when I was at Harbor Freight, I picked up the infamous purple gun. Uh, the reason for buying this is to do the primer with. I realize that this is more for finished paint than primer, but there are there is a modification that can be made uh, to this. I don't have the exact specs on on the drill bit size, but uh, you uh, basically uh, drill out this tip right there, where you see the needle go in and out of. Hope you can see that. Anyway, you drill that out to a larger size and that allows more or a thicker fluid to come through. 
And then while I was there, I, because these things are really awkward when you go to fill it up, you've got to filter it and all this kind of stuff, filter the paint to make sure you don't have any clumps and, and uh, trash in it. So uh, to do that with these things, you either have to chuck it in a vise or, or you have to get the kit that uh, changes it changes the uh, cup out altogether. I didn't want to spend that much money on this thing. This is a, a gun that's probably going to be thrown away after this project um, if it doesn't clean up good. But anyway, uh, I, I did buy this set up here. And with this, you just basically lay the cradle, lay it in the cradle. And then you put your filter in here, pour the paint in this way goes into the cup then you just pick the cup up hook it up to your hose and uh, start blasting away and this is the 36 grit that I bought uh, I was able to find this at a at a local auto parts store who specializes in in paint and body work that I I really didn't think that they would even have it but I went in and they actually had this and a couple of other different types the type I got is the type that clamps on instead of the the stick on because the stick ons have a tendency to uh, tear up your pad when when the sticker when you pull, start to pull it off didn't want that I just put that pad on there so uh, definitely don't want to hurt that but anyway we'll get busy and uh, and see how much we get done see what we got. Do what I can figure out. Well, I did find something. I had the head of an old snap-on body hammer that the handle had broken off of. I found an old handle from a <laughs> ball peen hammer that had broken off just the other day. And I stuck it in there and smacked it with a couple times of the hammer. Seems to work. A little bit of a short handle, but it might work. Yeah. And then I also found this as a paddle. It's usually made for um, having a dolly behind it, but I'm going to try to use this as my dolly because it does have a little bit of weight to it. If that hammer doesn't work, I have this old roofing hammer. It has a relatively flat surface on it that uh, I can also use. So I'm going to try to knock these down, especially this one right here because that seems to be holding up all of this stuff on both sides so see what happens I might make it worse I might make it better we'll see I know the lighting over here kind of sucks, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I've got several places. A uh, little door ding here. Uh, I do have to put a little, probably some spot putty in there, but otherwise it feels pretty good. This area here turns out that it goes all the way down. It's not that bad in the middle now that I have did a little work on the shrinking of it. 
So I've got a divot here, a small divot up here, small divot up here, and then down here is also kind of wavy. I'm, I'm assuming that at some point somebody just basically kicked the door to shut it or something. I'm not really sure what went on there. And then uh, over here, there's a, I don't know if you can see this line of black right in here. This line of black right in here. Um, there's a, a dent that goes kind of this way. Uh, but it's got involved all the way, it's involved all the way to here and over to here. So I gave myself plenty of room for for the, the putty. So I'm going to mix up a little mud. There is more work on the rear quarter panel on the driver's side that I need to do. Oh, and I need to do a little bit of work here on sanding to get to put some. There's a right there. There's a little place left over from my body work on the cab corners. As far as this stuff back here goes, I'm going to have to play with that a little bit. I, I'm not sure that I'm going to mess with it at all. It, it probably won't be perfect, but then again, uh, the whole truck won't be. So, uh, let me spin you around. I wanted to tell you something. I had somebody comment on the video, last video I did where I was working on that, that crease in the hood. Um, tell me that, uh, that I was trying to reinvent the wheel in, in order to uh, do something with the tools that already exist that I should just go and buy all the tools with. Uh, he, he evidently, or she, evidently didn't uh, go through and watch all the videos, otherwise he would have known that I, I'm i not going to be trying to put a show car together. As a matter of fact, he says it'll never be a show car. I don't anticipate it being one. So that's not a problem. But uh, And then there's been other people who have recommended that I, uh, you know, take the body off and acid dip it and, and uh, then paint it with epoxy primer and this, that, and the other thing, uh, epoxy paint. Like I said, I don't have the facilities for this. This is, this is, if you're following me, it's because you like watching somebody doing something in their garage uh, and uh, maybe even are contemplating or are doing it yourself. I know some of the folks on my, of my subscribers uh, indeed do do stuff in their garage like this. And so hopefully those po folks will, will uh, forgive the fact that I'm not a perfectionist or, or I'm not going to be putting a show truck together. This is just uh, trying to make my dad's old truck look better and then get it on the road. That's, that's all there is to it. So with all that being said, I'll go ahead and mix up some Bondo and uh, put some mud on the truck and bring you back and uh, when I get it all sanded and show you what it looks like. There goes nothing. I don't know how you guys were taught, uh, but I was taught whenever you have a, a door panel like this, it, it's, it's rounded. And I don't think these are rounded this way, uh, but I was always taught to, to move in a motion like this, back and forth. That helps maintain that, that curvature. much there because I've tried to apply it pretty thin. The 36 should take it down pretty fast. It might not be, it's not quite real hard yet, so, but uh, let my air compressor catch up and then I'll continue on.
Okay. As you can see, it's really not that thick. This area in here is the thickest, which is where I had to shrink it down some. And then uh, there's one area here that's showing low because it's not been scratched too much and, and the, the bondo is still, still high there. So I'm probably going to have to do a little fill there. I didn't even realize that there was a, an issue right there. I thought it was mostly down here and up here. Down here, it looks like this is still a little low right in here. Uh, everything else feels pretty good. Getting metal all around it. This area up in here is basically filled to the grind mark. So that's good. I feel a little bit right there, but That'll probably be taken care of with a DA sander. Everything working out pretty good. So I'm going to sand on this one down here and this one over here. Get it finished. I've started on it a little bit, but it's still got a little ways to go. Okay, I ran across it with the DA to kind of clean things up. The 36 grit leaves a lot of scratches and it makes it a little difficult to, to feel what you what you actually got so this area right in here feels really good where I where I worked on it with the hammer uh, maybe a little low right in there you see all this metal up in here usually if you have metal around the bondo that means the bondo is low so but if I if I need any more it would be very little this area right in here come to find out is low right in there the whole area here that's the reason why you got sanding away all this around here but leaving all this here so this is this is areas low that i didn't even notice before and this one here is going to also need more fill and maybe even a little bit of shrinking work right in here because this area here feels pretty well no it's actually flat there so uh, yeah it definitely needs needs some more from about here to here I guess and then maybe a skim coat up here but other than that that's good that one over there uh, I, I definitely sanded it too far it's gonna have to have a little bit more put in it these here are fine they don't look it but there's nothing nothing that you can feel really um, that one may be a little low but I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about that I'm gonna call it a call it a night and uh, a little bit of outro uh, so I'll be right back okay this is my first video for since it's been a while since I've, I've filled one um, it's been a while since I've been out here in the garage uh, I've had a lot of as I showed you in the last video a lot of uh, work to do on the house and stuff like that getting ready for a, a uh, long-term guest uh, but uh, all that's pretty much done now, so hopefully I can get out here more often and get more work done. Uh, I'm uh, hoping to get the same prime in primer and then within a week or two I paint. Uh, and then, but I don't know <laughs> how long it's going to take me to get this kind of stuff done. But uh, I'm, I'm plugging away at it slowly but surely. But anyway, I'm going to call it an evening for tonight. And uh, uh, as, as always, I appreciate you guys uh, coming along for the ride. And please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, please, like I say, if you, if you tune in on this video, please understand that I'm not doing a show truck in no way, shape, or form. Uh, basically, just. Uh, Trying to make it look better than it did before, which is really not hard. You could probably do that with a pine top and some rust over. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm hoping to make it look better and then get it running and get it up on the road and, and uh, put the old gal back to work. Uh, again, thanks for coming along for the ride. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.